its allocated gate. Goes in. Light flashes, they stand well. Racing at the 1400, Brooklyn Pier beat out Catalpa Fiery Bay, time scale, Kia Aura Star goes forward searching for the lead and will get there for the short term. Coming over time scale is going to burn them all off. Time scale around the outside draws a length clear. Kia Aura Star, whose rider hits the brakes and allows time scale to cross now and take over. Fiery Bay third, fourth Brooklyn Pier, a length and a half. Catalpa. And they're being followed further back. Beat the bro, then other one son in the second half of the field. Then Atlantis Beach is back there with Gunner Go and last of all the Mayor X Celestial. It's a strung out affair behind time scale being allowed to run for Watson and as they headed out past the 700 time scale led by more than two Kia Aura Star a length and a half away Brooklyn Pier down on the inside shaded by Fiery Bay next is Catalpa over on the inside behind those beat the bro and now other one son who trails Catalpa to the home corner comes to the outside at the top of the straight time scale leads wheels into the corner Kia Aura Star about to claim her three in front of Brooklyn Pier Catalpa other one son Kia Aura Star though Burst clear. Kia Aura Star dashes away. Here's Other One Sun. It's finishing brilliantly. Kia Aura Star's the leader. Other One Sun zigging, zagging around its heels. Post comes too late. Kia Aura Star from Other One Sun, who was pretty green in the run to the line. Dive just missed, I fancy. Back behind those, Catalpa, who's close up there in company with. Uh, also there beat the bro and they were followed by Brooklyn Pier. Uh, next home was Atlantis Beach time scale knocking up Fiery Bay, then Gunner Go and Ex Celestial amongst the last of the men. Waiting for the numbers here, Brad Rewilla on Kia Aura Star, praying the post was coming because the other one son, it was. Dive but missed and Kia Aura Star has upset this odds-on favourite in the seventh. Number one, Kia Aura Star clings on just. Placings here are one, ten, eight, and three. Kia Aura Star upsetting this fancied three-year-old, other one son, Chris Parnham, sort of laid across the heels of Kia Aura Star, rolled in and out and uh, cost itself here as the head-on will probably show. Kia Aura Star kept going by Rewilla. Other one, Sun. You can see Parnham had the stick in the left hand. Wanted to roll across the back of Kia Aura Star. He had to straighten it up and came with one last gasp lunge and failed by a head. Three lengths between second and third. 122.96. They looked as though they were mowing turf. And they were 122.96 time scale there. Really responsible for that big uh, pace top end speed. And 35.64 is the last 600 here. But Kia Aura Star clings on for Brad Rewilla. A winner yesterday, one here this afternoon over other one son, Chris Parnham. And number eight, Catalpa, Pat Carberry holds third, fourth, number three, beat the bro. One, ten, eight, and three placings. The winner is a Blackfriars, Kia Aura Miss Gelding, now eight years of age. And a great job having won seven from 53, placed on 19 occasions and uh, raced by the Starline Thoroughbred Syndicate, managed by Aaron Cherkop, B. Brennan, J. Jones, D. Fagan, also R. Princey and uh, B. Fagan. So a great Bunbury result here for the connections. Trained in Albany by Roy Rogers and Brad Rewilla there, the rider. Number 10 second, other one son by Demerit out of Hot Devils, Dan Morton, Chris Parnham and third home, Catalpa, who's by Rios out of Wild Rock, Grant Williams, Patrick Carberry. The next today, the size produce stakes. Comes up, Sean O'Donnell is on number eight, Nunez. Let's go down the stairs and uh, join uh, Scotty. Big weekend for Albany. Cup day down there tomorrow. And uh, he's uh, one of the, the top trainers in the region. Does the job in Perth today with Kia Aura star Roy Rogers. And he's with uh, Scotty down in the yard. He certainly is, and he's done a wonderful job with this horse too because, Roy, you got this horse as a tried one off Michael Lane. The owner's stayed in, transferred down to you. Is it a case of refreshing an older horse with a different training regime? Yeah, he just thrived down there in Albany. It's a lot cooler. Um, a big thank you to Michael Lane for suggesting to the owners to give me a crack with him, and, and, and that's a, you know, a, re a really good judge, Michael Lane, and for him to place the horse down there with me, I, I really appreciate it. 
announcer of the uh, trip today and probably with a senior rider on as well. With uh, We were talking about him in the preview and suggesting that he was over racing, but in hindsight, he's probably just not a kid's horse. Yeah, absolutely. And I was giving young Jet Stanley a, a bit of a chance and uh, he's probably unlucky not to win last week. He got, he got tugging a little bit and... Uh, Jet wanted to try and ride him to instructions. I said, sometimes you've got to throw the book out the window and just get going. No good, both of you pulling. And, uh, yeah, Jet's, Jet's a good kid on the rise, and he'll, he'll, be, he'll be hitting the line soon. And this horse had plenty of racing, and you're backing him up again off seven. He must thrive on it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he doesn't track. We don't do any track work. He just works at home, and um, he's just thriving. We used that race last week over 1,100 because three weeks between runs would have been a little bit much. Um, had to convince the owners he needed a gallop, so he went around and picked up some stake money. And it's always Albany Cup Day on Easter Sunday. Have you got a winner or two for us? Yeah, probably uh, Love a Chat. Brad will be down tomorrow, and I think Love a Chat, Oristano, um, Oristano, Travello, and Mr. Causeway could probably trifecta the race. We've got a few youngsters resuming, and um, Big Batter Boom in the Cup could be a cheeky run. Best of luck tomorrow, and congratulations here. Thanks very much, Scotty. There's Roy Rogers here. I just noted that Brad Rewilla had weighed in and then headed towards the stewards' room. So I'm, I'm thinking there that there might be some vision to be watched there by the connections of the second horse. So we'll let Roy Rogers make his way there too. We won't get to hear, unfortunately, from Brad Rewilla. The margin there is ahead. One, ten, eight, and three are the numbers. Kiora Star first past the post, but confirming here that Chris Parnham is looking at the vision on the second horse, Other One's Son. We saw Other One's Son in the home straight making big late ground, and they're going to view the film in the home straight. But numbers here unofficially are one, ten, eight and three our sky thoroughbred central audience will be off to race number seven at sha tin we'll bring you an update as soon as we can